so much for tuning in to Tips and Tricks in Private Practice. I'm Francisca Mix, and I'm the CEO and founder of Francisca Consulting and Counseling. You know, it's toward the end of April, and here in the Denver metro area, there is an expression, and it goes like this. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. It's going to change. And I am here to tell you it has been this way for all of our springtime. You know, and this is not the way you want to start your practice, or run a private practice, right? You don't want to be the leaf blowing in the wind based on the weather patterns, especially in the Denver metro area. I'm here to tell you, I've got two inches of snow outside. It's kind of amazing. Instead, you want to experience clarity. You want to really take ownership of your confidence and your competencies, right? And I am here to tell you, isn't it great or is, aren't we all going for getting it right the first time? Well, I'm here to tell you that if that is something that you're going for, then definitely, you are definitely going to want to consider hiring a private practice consultant. If you want to get it right the first time, consider the benefits of consultation. And before I get into those, I want to pretty much, you know, highlight that Believe it or not, you have already engaged in the consultation process somehow, some way, especially if you're already licensed. Do you remember that time when, way back when, when you were the itty bitty student in counseling and what was shoved down your throat? Never practice in isolation. You do not want to practice in a vacuum. And I am here to bust the myth that once we're licensed, we say bye-bye to consultation. It is so not true. So not only for clinical, but your professional identity, if you're starting about thinking about or you've already launched a private practice, reach out to get some consultation. I'm going to show you something. If you put your hands in front of you and you slowly move them back, believe it or not, you get to your blind spot. Now, this isn't a less than in anybody's wisdom, devotion, motivation, or momentum, or intelligence. It's just the reality. We all have blind spots. So when you're starting up and when you're wanting to build and grow, Hiring a consultant is definitely the strong recommendation, very similarly to working with a clinical supervisor when you were getting licensed. So let me review the reasons why. Now, number one, individualized attention, completely tailored to your specific needs. You know, I have clients who have thought about private practice and I, and I, you know, I, I get reached by them and then we automatically just start the process. And these are healthy habits that you want to start off with right off the top, right? Like a golf swing, you know? You wanna get the habits right the first time so you don't have to course correct because that's twice the burden, twice the time. And when you're talking about time and business, it's twice the money or the cost to get it right the first time. So. Let's start there. You get individualized attention and it's tailored to your specific needs. How cool is that? Number two, running a business successfully is way more than just being a therapist. Hear me again. Running a successful private practice requires way more than just being a therapist. So, Consultation, private practice consultation, well, if you choose me at least, maybe, um, we actually truly name that and that you will be actually growing and developing your new professional identity as a business owner, entrepreneur, the therapy practice CEO, whatever you like to call yourself, right? The badass owner, okay? Whatever it might be working with a consultant, these are the things that you actually start learning about, the things that you didn't learn in school. I know, I went through my own education and then I was adjunct at a university. So I'm still pretty aware that the curriculum doesn't really hold 
what it really entails to run a business successfully. So in private practice consultation, you're held and you're seen and you get to practice new skills along the way to your success. Number three, private practice consultation is highly educational. You know, we're in the field that we signed up to stay on track with constant learning, right? And integrating. We get to learn, we pause, and we integrate, and we move from that place. Well, consulting, consultation is very similarly, right? Hopefully, it's not going to be the fire hose approach. You're going to get digestible golden nuggets along the way that you implement over time, which moves the needle forward and gets you to where you want to be with your private practice a lot sooner, believe it or not. And here's the big benefit of consultation, accountability. I don't know about you, but you know, the, the, the power partners that I have, my collaborators, like my VA, social media folks, you know, my Google ads people, those folks, you know what I tell them? I tell them, give me deadlines. I work so well with a deadline. Well, a consultant is definitely going to give you a deadline. So that's going to keep your momentum going over time, consistently over time, right? So I'm pretty sure that we're all familiar with some deadlines, but when you're in private practice, guess who sets them? That's right. You do. You set them. So it's kind of nice knowing that you don't have to do it all alone. You're not isolated when you're trying to create or birth this wonderful thing called your private practice, right? So that you can really stay connected to the reasons why you're doing this and you're going to stay connected and get the job done in a way that's really holding work-life balance, right? All right, another benefit to private practice consultation is that it is a growth focus with intentional frameworks. You know, chances are most, if not, I mean, most of us, right? We're we're on social media, aren't we? Most are going to join a Facebook group, right? Most read blog articles. Most are on newsletter, right? Subscriptions. We're all, that's the kind of way that we're ingesting content, is it not? And I'm here to say that's wonderful, but there is a shadow side to that. When we're grabbing, when we're reaching and grasping all these little golden nuggets, and then we put it on a plate, what ends up happening is that you have a plate full of isolated little morsels of information. And what's lacking is a framework or a step-by-step approach, or how to get it done in a timely manner by doing one, two, and three in a sequential order. That's what's lacking when we try to just reach and grasp and watch the YouTube like you are with me and read the article and then try to put it all together, right? When you work with a consultant, you are going to have access to a step-by-step process that works. So you have the order that you're going to need, right? You, this person's already done it 100 time over and while it's your first. So it's kind of nice to have these intentional frameworks to move the needle forward. Okay, I got to tell you, consultation, it there's a cost to it. I'm not going to lie. There is a cost to pretty much everything in life, right? And we have, we don't even bat an eye when we've realized the thousands of dollars that we've spent for our education and the ongoingness for supervision. And then in order to maintain our license, we constantly invest our time, effort, and money into ongoing education. Consultation is a cost. The good news though, when you're a business owner, this becomes a business expense, okay? So it there is a cost to doing business. The good news is that you will get this in the back end when you submit your taxes. This is a business expense. So believe it or not, you're gonna spend a little money, but with a consultant, you end up saving your time. And in business, you actually end up saving more money because you make more a lot faster and you actually have a clear, trajectory that you've defined and you know exactly what you need to do 
when you need to do it. So the benefit here is that yes, even though there's a cost, it will in the long run save you time and it's going to save you money. Another wonderful benefit of a private practice consultant is that Remember how I was just saying, we're going to piecemeal everything. I got this. I have my license. I've been practicing for 15 years and I'm going to do this now, right? Not a problem. It, this has nothing to do with a lack of intelligence. It Honestly, it has nothing to do with that. But let me ask, are you feeling confident? Is it this one first or is it that, right? A consultant's going to save you the time. It's going to remove not all the stress, but it will provide you clarity and confidence and you will end up rocking and rolling with your confidence as a practice owner. Who doesn't want some of that? Lastly, working with a consultant keeps you in the window of the learning zone or like a window of tolerance. Believe it or not, folks, in order for us to learn, we need a little bit of stress or cortisol, but we can't be constantly way out of the box. A consultant is going to keep boundaries and structure and titrate the information to you so that it's digestible and that you're really feeling accomplished over time. All right, folks, what do you think? Are you with me? The great benefits of private practice consultation is that you get to do it right the first time. It's individualized attention, you save time and money, you lower your overwhelm and self-doubt, you have accountability, you have soundboarding opportunities, you stay focused with intentional growth because you're provided sequential order and step-by-step -step processes along the way to really get you to where you want to be in your private practice. Thank you. That's the tip and trick in private practice this season right now. We don't want to be the leaf blowing in the wind, especially in the springtime in Colorado. I can tell you that. You want to become that oak tree. So hopefully this was helpful. Stick any comments that you have in that little comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel. You know how to do it, right? Thanks so much for tuning in. And until the next time, be well.